sisters, brothers, siblings. Christ called us here today to this sacred space to commemorate the sacrifice of those who came before us. Fifty years ago, queers considered the lowliest of the low made a stand for their dignity. And though they were beaten by police, they were not broken. Their hope, faith, and rage built the revolution on which we stand. Take a moment to pause and look around you. See their legacy in the faces of those around you. See what God is doing in our world. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. You are the light of the world and you are the salt of the earth. Those are not conditional statements by Jesus. You are already enough right now. You are the light of the world right now. There's no condition on that. And that's, that's very, very important because our faith flows from this closeness to God who, is, who came to us in our flesh. Our hearts are a city on a hill that have been lightened by this human experience of being queer. So this is the first thing that I think is very important about this World Pride celebration is that it is a celebration that calls us to more. And I think in a particular Catholic way, um, where pride seeks human rights, that is a fundamental central part of Catholic Church teaching. Whatever happened here 50 years ago began something where people, not just gay people, but people all over were awakened to human rights. Let us build a house where prophecy and words are strong and true. Where all For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. May this mingling the body and blood of Christ be eternal life to all see them. Confident that Christ is present among us and that he hears the voice of his loved ones, we raise up our prayers to the Lord. Let us pray for all LGBTQIA Catholics and Christians throughout the world, that they may know their strength and dignity in the Spirit of God, and that their efforts to quell oppression be met with open hearts and minds. Let us pray for the leaders of the institutional church, especially those bogged down in the clutches of hypocrisy, self-righteousness, and malice, that they hear the call of truth and goodness and commit themselves to acts of loving kindness and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 